So, Dave, you're up there actually at uh, Desert Winds Nursery taking a look at what we should focus on right now. We are at Summer Winds Nursery right above Tatum and Bell, guys, and I'll tell you what, take a look around here. This is one of those, well, legosorial type nurseries. These are nurseries that have been here a long time. I've dealt with this nursery for a long time, and you can see all the wonderful vegetables they've got. A lot of curl type parsley. They've got the Italian parsley. They've got another one that's a neat little herb that I grow in the garden called epizote. If anyone, uh, well, cooks a lot of beans, grows a lot of beans, you'll know you'll need this because this stops that flatulence that has a tendency to come along with eating beans. And of course, right over here, take a look at their bicolor type sages. All these work well and need to be planted this time of year. And there's lots of other type of vegetables. In fact, I wanted to show you one that does very well out here in the desert southwest. And this is an herb that I grow in a shaded area. And it's called oregano. And there's a lot of different types, but the Greek oregano does the best. It is one that will almost become weedy. So you got to be careful with something along these lines. Another one, we've got some rue that we utilize to actually ward off any type of cats in our garden. And of course, they've got a lot of different types of mints. Now, along with all these different types of herbs, you got to have a lot of different types of vegetables. We, just, we like to mix our herbs and vegetables up together, of course. And so what you want to do is you want to start thinking about putting in those tomatoes. Right now, we are putting in those fairly large type tomatoes. If you're up in the north country, you're going to want to go ahead and start these smaller guys and you want to protect them from any type of frost. Down here in the valley, well, we're putting them in in these large containers. You can see them. They've got an assortment here, a lot of different types of early girls, celebrities, and of course those Romas and those Sweet 100s. All of them do very well. Reason being, we talked about it, you've got to put in short season type of vegetables in to grow out here in the desert southwest, especially with the different types of tomatoes. And of course, well, you want to go ahead and start thinking about those eggplants and Swiss chards, and they've got a lot of those too in here. So a lot of this stuff is, well, put together in such a way that it companion plants together. So when you look at this and you say, well, there's some artichoke right there, right beside it, there's some eggplants. Those two happen to companion plant very well. So when you're planting these gardens, you want to look for those type of situations. When you're growing, you want to make sure that you're growing a lot of different types of varieties. By growing a lot of different types of varieties and not growing a polyculture, you're gonna avoid any type of pesticidal type problems or pest problems because those pests have a tendency to get a little bit confused when they have a lot of different types of vegetables that they're looking at, at the same time. Over here, well, of course, there's a lot of peppers out here and peppers is another one. So the main ones that we grow and the ones I work around are tomatoes, eggplants, peppers. After that, I start growing some of my companion plants along with it, some of your kales, and then right over there where you're gonna see some of your different types of melons. All these need to go in and go in right now, folks. If you're thinking about it, put in lots of, lots of compost in the ground. When we get back, guys, we're gonna talk a lot about well, different types of fruit trees you want to put in right now, different types of orange trees you want to put in some around that right now. And of course, one of my favorite, fig trees. So we're back with more Good Morning Arizona right after this.